An annuity is something which reduces the principal over time. So it might be an investment you have, which you're reducing the principal by taking it out over time, or it might be a mortgage you have, where you're reducing the amount you owe over time with through payments. A perpetuity has regular payments coming in and out, but the principal remains untouched. It stays the same. This can apply to interest-only loans and some investments. So for example, consider $1,000 invested at 5% compounding annually. Let's take the middle scenario first. The middle scenario is the difference each year is $50. So it means $50 is being withdrawn. The recursion relation that would apply here is VO is 1,000. Then this is increased by 5% and $50 is taken off. So during the year, there's an increase of 5%, and at the end of the year, there's a $50 taken off, and we're back to 1,000. And you should notice that the value at the end of year 1, end of year 2, end of year 3, etc., continues to be 1,000. Right? What if there was less than $50 taken off? Well, if there was less than $50 taken off, say 40, during the year, it would increase by 50, drop down by 40. So that's why at the end of the first year, there is $110. Now that's great because the next year, it'll increase by 5% again, which is this time slightly more than $50 and drop by the same 40. And over time, this keeps growing. Whereas the third option, if we reduce it by more than $60 a period, or in this case a year, is that that's the recursion relation and we can see it's dropping. And you should note that the first one it drops by 10, the second one it drops by slightly more than 10 because the interest earned on the 990 isn't quite $50 anymore. It's less than 50, so that when you subtract the 60 off, it drops by more. All right, so how do we look at this using financial solver? Sorry, a couple of notes first. This works for interest-only loans and perpetuities, all perpetuities. So, here, the interest charged is the same as the repayment. Very importantly is this formula here. R on 100 times VO is the amount of interest earned in a period, whereas D is the amount that's subtracted from that period. When these two are equal, it will be a perpetuity. If they're unequal, then the fund will either grow or decrease over time. Here's an annuity. An annuity is the one that grows or decreases over time. The annuity is modeled with this here, with R being the percentage increase, decrease, and D being the difference each time. All right, so let's take an example. Bob has 1.5 million in his retirement fund, which earns 5.4 interest compounded fortnightly. How much can he withdraw every fortnight if he plans to live forever? Or by live forever, I mean, let's say he wants to keep 101.5 million to hand over to his children when he dies. All right, algebraically, it actually doesn't matter what time period we put in for N, sorry, for CAS, doesn't matter what time period we put in for N. We can just let it be one or it could be any number. Interest rate we've said is 5.4%. Present value, now careful, it's negative 1.5 million. The reason it's negative is because he has put 1.5 million during his lifetime in a retirement fund. He's given it away to the retirement fund. The future value is positive 1.5 million. The reason it's positive is because when he passes away, the 1.5 million will come back out of the retirement fund to his estate. And compounds per year is 26. So let's try this on the gas. Menu A1. We'll have one here, 5.4, negative 1.5 million, zero because we don't know what it is. We still want 1.5 million at the end. And compounds per year is 26. So then we go down to payment and hit enter. 3,115.38. 3,115.38. That's the amount he can withdraw every fortnight. And the 1.5 million doesn't change. Algebraically, the amount he can withdraw, or the difference he takes out each time, is the R per compounding period. So it's not just 5.4, it's 5.4 divided by 26. All of that on 100 times 1.5 million. And that will come out to be exactly the same. 
and you should know how to do it both ways. Right. What if he plans to spend it all in 30 years? If he plans to spend all of that 1.5 million in 30 years, how much can he withdraw every fortnight? So here is no longer a perpetuity, it's an annuity, it's being drawn down. 30 years is 30 lots of 26 fortnights, because we're working at fortnights. Interest stays the same, present value stays the same. Payment, we don't know what it is. Future value is also going to be at zero, because it's going to be withdrawn down to zero. So the amount you can withdraw each time is that 3885.64. 3885.64. Right? And that's all I want to go through on annuities and perpetuities. But it's important you can do this algebraically for perpetuities and that you can use Solver for both scenarios. All right, thank you very much.